Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Autonomous Drone Bot Build, Code and Fly. This is absolutely a zero to hero series. That's the reason each and every video I am building are very short, crisp, concise to the point so that folks who are beginners can bring up their skills, build their skills from zero to hero level. All right, guys. So in this lesson, we will hook up our telemetry. So telemetry comes with a, a, a radio transmitter and a receiver. Do not get confused this with your video transmitter and receiver, audio and video transmitter, which we did in the previous lesson. Uh, that's a different uh, device altogether. However, this can communicate with your audio video transmitter itself, you know, without any additional device, but that requires a bit of a complex wiring and uh, programming and stuff, which I will take you through a glimpse of that at a later stage in a later lesson. For now, you will get this radio telemetry device, both transmitter and a receiver along with your PixHawk bundle with a kit. It comes with a whole bundle or you can buy it separately. This is also called a 433 megahertz uh, FPV radio telemetry ground module. So this is basically to connect you know, uh, this connects to your uh, ground control station, which is your mission planner station, right, on your laptop. And uh, one of the device, the receiver device, comes with a USB. You can directly, you know, plug it into your laptop. And that's it. There are some basic settings and configuration for your, um, uh, for your mission control. And this will communicate directly with your, the ground control station is going to communicate directly with your drone bot. And this particular part is going to hook up to your PixHawk. So I'm going to show you right now where it gets connected so that you will have a absolute great clarity. So if you take a look at PixHawk here, right? So there are two ports different ports for telemetry one is written as telemetry one and another one is telemetry two right if you can take a close look i'll just point it with the antenna this is this is telemetry two and this is telemetry one all right it's it's very clearly written so we will be plugging this particular wire which comes with four different ports black orange white and red and that's nothing but your RX TX transmission and receiver. And then there is a VCC and ground that's a positive terminal and the ground of course. So that's going to hook up in telemetry one like this, uh, right? In telemetry one. Oops, we need to check the polarity, the way the pins are set up. Telemetry one, you need to just slightly push it do not force much a slight push and this will be and this can be mounted in your uh, on your uh, on your drone bot you know you can just you know put a, a double sided tape at the bottom or maybe you can use a tie a cable tie or whatever whichever you, way you feel comfortable so this is the way you set up and configure and once this is connected you'll have to port this in to your laptop so while testing i'm going to show all this while test when we start doing the testing for now these lessons i'm going to show you only the wiring aspects and the configuration aspects and how it works and stuff but when it comes to the actual live demonstration i'm going to show you you know the actual setup on the screen and how it looks and kind of thing so go ahead and hook it up and keep things ready guys and i'll be back soon in the next video the following videos the upcoming lessons is going to get more interesting because we are going to work you know you can see the drone uh, sitting uh, behind me so i'm going to complete my wiring and uh, do the testing so I, I have to take the video recording off the lab i'm going to go outside the lab into a plain ground and try to record as best as possible it may not be clear but you know i'll try to uh, because i need to show you guys how the motors rotate and stuff by the way there are a couple of lessons on the motors as well because every motor is configured in a different way i have a six drive six six motor drives six electronic speed controllers so each sp speed controller will have a different kind of rotation so i'm going to show you that as well in an upcoming lesson until then goodbye